So I went ahead and lined these up side to side. A big mean chartreuse can't crankbait for some bluish water. You know, if you're ever fishing bluish water, you want that chartreuse crankbait. Hold oh, us in, what is going on folks? Welcome to the Fishing of Norm YouTube channel. Comment a day is popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below in this video for your chance to be in the next video's comment of the day. So today I'm actually in Chicago. Just got done filming a three-day unchartered series, which is gonna be on Catch Coast channel. Once you guys see this video, it's probably gonna be like two weeks away. So get ready for that. I'm gonna leave their channel linked down below. And also, I'm gonna leave Peric's channel linked down below. We're here with Peric today. And we are also, I traveled like 13 hours and instead of going to somewhere where I don't go we went to the same place that I always go and that would be uh that'd be Walmart right over there so the plan for today you guys love the budget fishing on the channel so what we're gonna do we're gonna go buy like a super cheap crankbait and the Guggen squad has brand new crankbaits that yep. just released yesterday right yep yesterday they just yesterday. released yesterday so we're gonna go put the cheap crankbaits to the test versus the Guggen squad crankbaits yep see what catches more fish see what catches big fish See how I like them, because I haven't fished with them yet. Have you Dude, fished you, with them? I've fished with them. They're really good baits. Yeah. We've been prototyping them for a while now, but I'm so impressed with that intro you just did. Like, you were just like, on point. Oh. On point, point, dude. Good job. I got it down. All right. Let's go, folks. Dude, uh, on that one video. All right, folks. We're here in the, uh, in the Walmart section. It's... A pretty sad Walmart section compared to mine in uh, Tallahassee. I've been briefly looking at it and there isn't a whole lot of stuff, but Peric's gonna pick us out uh, the crankbait that we're using here. So there's, there's not a big there's selection. There's not, like even, one there's not even a square bill. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's absolutely nothing here. And all this stuff is like super, Whoa! Well, I, I was like, oh, here's a bait I'm gonna use. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not really exactly cheap. $10 for that. So the Guggen squad crankbait would be cheap at that point. I mean, I guess like, like this, four, oh. 483? Please no. <laughs> not, not that. Wait, I think I saw one like, uh, where was it? The $1 spinnerbait versus a, but, but then again, like a crankbait versus spinnerbait, like. Yeah, it makes no sense. Makes no sense. Well, they got these in the case for like 10 bucks, so this would be like $3 a piece. Yeah, that's probably your best bet. Yeah. Yeah, that, there you go. And these will work good. They're small. So? They're small, yeah. All right. Up north, you know, the fish are not exactly the biggest sometimes. Uh -huh. Or or you go that. Should we go with that one or that one? Are they both $9? They're, I think they're both, uh, yeah, nine ninety six. Definitely this one. This All is right. cool. Here we go. I mean, we're, we're headed to a lake that is pretty good. I fished there a bunch. We got a little John boat there waiting for us, so... Hopefully, uh, you know, we can land some big donkeys today. Yes, sir. We have acquired the crankbaits. We got a little like crankbait fishing kit here. So it's like $9.96. So when you divide that by three, I think math is like, that makes it a dollar right now. I'm joking. This is about $3 here. And at my Walmarts, they have like the $1 crankbaits. Those are trail like the Walmart brand. So I was hoping they'd have those here, but they don't. But this is the next cheapest option. So we're going to go ahead, check out, get to the pond. Are we going in a boat? Is that yeah, the plan? Yeah, we're going in a boat. Uh, we've got a John boat with a trolling motor and it's going to be fire. That's the rig. Let's get to it. All right, folks, we're chilling out here on the water. AP Bassin is taking the uh, the front of the boat. He's already throwing around the Guggen Squad crankbaits. But before we get started, I want to show you guys all the crankbaits that are in here because he's got a good amount of them, like the paint jobs and stuff like that. Kind of go over what I think will work and then we're going to toss them around. Uh, this juicy looking pond here is actually a pretty big pond if you guys can get the whole 360 view let me spin around like that there you go but all right so we're gonna start off with these crankbaits that we got from walmart these crankbaits are about three dollars a piece without tax and we actually got some really cool colors in here so we got what i like to call the sexy shad on top might not actually be the real name but that's what i'm gonna call it we also got the red crankbait there in the center that's gonna be great around rocks stuff like that represents a crawfish and then on the bottom we got a little shad pattern crankbait so i'm really loving these colors i think the reason that these things are so cheap is a lot of companies will put like super cheap hooks on their crankbaits to save money so that's what i have a feeling just by looking at these hooks outside the package is that they're probably not going to be all that great of hooks but i'm hoping the action is at least good so we can at least see if those hooks hold up we're gonna go ahead and take them out of the package real quick all right so we got the three crankbaits out of the packaging they are looking pretty freaking good for being some cheap crankbaits here I am liking every single color. I'm probably gonna start with, uh, the water's pretty dirty. We're gonna go with, with this little guy right here. But let's look at those Guggen Squad crankbaits real quick. Alex, what do you pack for me in here, man? Dude, there is so much in there. We've got lipless baits. We've got, you know, I'm trying to catch a fish here, but uh, we got, you got, you got my favorite, the chartreuse. That is a big mean chartreuse crankbait for some bluish water. You know, if you're ever fishing bluish water, you want that chartreuse crankbait. But look at those hooks on there. Those are, Mustad triple grip pop of the line hooks right there and that oh, yeah. this is what we've designed with those baits But I don't think that's what's gonna catch them here No, you don't <laughs> Dude, I caught one of my first two casts and I haven't caught one But 
I think that this little mean mamba here that dives about three to six foot is gonna be the key. So that's the mini version of this dude right here, yeah. basically. You ever drink coffee and just have the shakes? <laughs> oh yeah, you got the shakes right now? I got the shakes, but I'm also so excited about my new finds uh, on the app TikTok, so I'm just, all these ideas are coming through my head. <laughs> about me dancing in bikinis and just a whole bunch of stuff that oh, I want to do. So. What Are you going to start with the G-Squad crankbait first or are you going to start with the cheap crankbait first? What do you think I should do first? I think you should start with the cheap one. So I was telling uh, I was telling Peric about old TikTok here because I got one about a week ago. If you guys are not following me, it's Fishing with Norm. All my social media is Fishing with Norm, so give me a follow. But uh, we're going to help Peric film some uh, TikToks today as well, so you guys got to go check his TikTok out. Yeah. But it's time to... I want to look at these paint jobs on these crankbaits because I've heard a lot of things about them. Uh, on this trip so far and I have not get got to take a peek at them yet So I went ahead and lined these up side to side for you guys just because I'm I'm just that nice guy You know what I mean, but we got the uh, the Google Squad crankbaits here on the left if I focus on the eye there It actually has their logo there. It's actually really sick. I'm liking the paint jobs on these We got all different sizes. They also have a, uh, a lipless crankbait which you guys know is probably my all-time favorite bait. You guys can pretty much throw this thing year round. This is what I give to all my buddies when they first start fishing because you don't even have to set the hook. It sets the hook for itself. Pretty easy lure to throw and always catches fish. Multi-species too. But I think I'm going to go with... Uh, I think we're going to start with this guy right here. This is going to be uh, lure number one for us. All right, we tied on the old cranker stank here. This is the, the cheap crankbait that we got from Walmart. Actually sounds pretty good. I'm afraid we're going to lose some fish though with the, with the hooks on here, but only one way to find out, and that's by making casts and hooking one in the first place. Out here, folks, we got, it looks like a lot of, is that rock that I see, Peric? Or am I just crazy? Over there. It's mostly a mud bottom with some grass. Oh yeah, I found the grass. So there's some rocks, some grass, some mud, some docks, I think. No, no docks, I lied. We're just gonna move around, make some casts, catch some fish. Buddy's got his lawnmower going. Be prepared to hook the biggest fish of your life first, but. I guarantee you that you will be fine to your Yeah. Oh, that was him. I think. It doesn't feel like one now. Maybe he's just that small. I cannot tell what's going on here. Is this like, oh yeah, he's on there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Folks, we had one. That, what was I saying about the hooks, dude? <laughs> There's, <laughs> with the cheap hooks, folks, I just did a, uh, the Walmart brand Lures Fishing Challenge, if you guys have not see that, but they put super cheap hooks on there, and I lost a darn four pounder at the bank. So that's like, if you guys end up buying these cheap ones, definitely buy some good hooks to like, to switch it out and stuff like that, because you'll lose fish, you'll get angry at yourself, and you'll just want to switch to the, to the nicer crankbaits. But for the sake of the challenge, I'm going to keep on fishing this one. Dude, that was like a two pounder. Yeah, that was actually a nicer one, dude. I was, <laughs> I'm actually a little bit, uh, a little you know, bit bummed about that. Get... Oh! Hey. Wow, dude, these fish are so skinny. Dude, Look he that. munched it at the boat. That he was did. wild. Oh, that was him. That was him. We're on, folks. We're tight. <laughs> <laughs> I about sent one of those cheap hooks into my chest. That's my first one. Hey, stop it. Hey, stop. 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 <laughs> Stop. So that time, there's no way she's coming off because she uh, she ate that crankbait nice and good. But that is our first fish on the cheap crankbait. Actually, both the hooks got her. Is that is that the double up? There's it. <laughs> Power pull down. We're on him, man. You want you want a little fire spot? Yeah, I'm, that might have to be the move I here. I like your comment. You said nice and good. All right, there we go. Cheap crankbait. A little small fish. Gonna try to make an upgrade here, but it's working. I didn't know. I didn't realize that. He, oh, we're on. We're on. Bunkers only. Bigs. Biggins. Hey, I'll take it though. A bite's a bite. Well, heck yeah. That's fish number two on the uh, on the old cheap crankbait here. So our hookup ratio has been. Oh, that's it right there, baby. He got me right in the hand. There goes the hook. Knew it was gonna happen. All right, folks. Here she is. Uh, don't didn't bring the scale with me, but probably I don't know seven or eight pounds, give or take. Boop. All right, Alex. I think it is time to tie on the uh, the old GS yeah, you, crankbait. Get a bacon. Get a bacon in the boat. <laughs> Do not give me that crank. <laughs> <There's, laughs> how deep does this thing dive? Uh, it dives like two to five. You want the chartreuse, man? The water's a little bluish. I am not even kidding. You. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. No. Yeah. So a lot of these crankbaits that we're uh, that we're fishing with today, guys. Nobody has, so I'm like one of the only people who's probably ever held one of these and uh, thrown it in the water. We're gonna go ahead and tie on the 
the old shad crankbait here. Is this a, yeah, this is a Guggen Square one. All right. Out of the way. <laughs> I didn't think I'd, we'd see any smaller fish, but that one would have taken the lead for like the, for the smallest fish of the day. Hi. Hi. Let me catch some fish off your backyard if you don't mind. That's him. That's him. Oh yeah. Good guy. Little guy. Hey, I'll take it though. A bite's a bite. There we go, guys. That's the first one on the uh, the old. Oh. Oh, dude, I just missed one. Dude, we could have had a sick double up picture of two lunkers if you would have caught that one. All right, first one on the uh, the old GS square bill slash crankbait. Donkeys only. All right, time to get this thing back in the water. Did not take long for us to. Uh... Hello. Hi. <laughs> for us to crank into our first fish here. Oh, is that him? Yeah, that's him. That's a good one. Yep. Yeah. That's probably my my better one on the Guggen Squad uh, crankbait here. It's not <laughs> by any means. Oh no 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 no! I'll let you know if it's a four pounder. You'll hear me hooting and hollering. But oh yeah, there we go. That's probably my biggest one of the day. Not saying much, but it's fun. Getting him back in. I want to keep on throwing this thing around, folks, because I want to crank one that's at least two pounds. At least two pounds. You got him? Yeah, so. <laughs> you ate it too hard. Oh, that's him, that's him. Yeah, the double up, the double up. The dubs. Okay, guys, well, here. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I think it's a, is that fish number four for me? On the, uh, the Guggen Squad crankbait? So much fun out here, folks. Well, <laughs> hope you didn't want any of those, uh, those lipless that there's probably not too many made of yet. Yeah, that's the only one I have. Oh, that's your only one? Well, it's in the tree up there now. <laughs> oh, that was... That was him. No. <laughs> oh, I feel bad about that one. I didn't realize he was that close to the boat, and I just slammed him inside. Sorry, buddy. All right. So we got, like, uh, 10 more minutes out here, folks. Is there something over there? Oh. We got like 10 more minutes out here. Uh, I got to catch my flight to go back to old Tallahassee. And then I think I'm driving to Jacksonville. So you guys will be seeing some Jacksonville videos probably right after this one. I'm just enjoying my time out here, trying to catch one with a little bit of size on it. We've caught one that was probably a pound, but besides that, uh, nothing much. We're trying to get to that two pound range. We've got a little bit of time to make it happen. Oh, oh, fish. There we go. Folks, we're just catching numbers on the uh, on the square bill and cranks today. It's a lot of fun. Oh, all right. We got the Instagram picture, folks. Follow me on Instagram. Fishing with Norm so you can see those lunkers before I even post the videos. It's quite the deal. All right, folks, we are off the water. Had a great time fishing with the different crankbaits today. Really enjoyed fishing with both of them. You guys obviously saw that the cheap one cranks some, the expensive one cranks some. Parrick's uh, shirt is off. <laughs> That's what happens when you're uh, when you're filming with Parrick. You have no clue what's what's gonna go down. But I had a great time, and if I had any advice to you guys, buy whatever you can afford because obviously everything catches fish, but you do get what you pay for. So obviously those baits that are a little bit more expensive are more expensive for a reason. They're made better, all that good stuff. But both of these things caught fish today. Had a great time fishing with old uh, Perrick. Let me know if you guys want me to come up to Wisconsin more or Chicago. I don't even know what yeah. state we're in. We're in, we're in uh, the state of Illinois. Which Illinois. Is Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. If, let me know if you guys want me to come up here more, film with these guys. But it was fun, man. Thank you for taking me out to your, uh, your little secret pond yeah. here. Slayed some chunks. But anyways, guys, until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, we're out of here. Thank you.